Hey, what's up, guys? So, I need to address a little bit of the bait that I posted yesterday. Uh, <clears throat> I will first say this. Uh, sometimes I'm terrible at explaining things. I know. I know it. We know it. We all, we've all. got you guys seen my videos. Like, come on, dude. I'm not the greatest. But the, the passion and, and the thought is there. You know what I mean? Sometimes I'm not so good with my words. And, uh, yeah, that's where we're at. So, okay. Watching the last video, you need to operate under this, the assumption that everybody understands that web browsers violate Unix philosophy, right? Because they just do. They do too much stuff, right? Way too much stuff. Yeah, I mean, you can order a pizza. You can watch a movie. You can go on to weird websites, and they have full-on um, music software where you can write a track right there, right in your browser. You could uh, play old-school video games from, like, DOS era uh, right on a website, right? There's so many different things you can do it. So, like, automatically, in itself, it violates Unix philosophy. You know, the first rule, which is, like, you know, have one tool, do one job, and do it well, right? So, I kind of came over here, and, you know, like, I got a bunch of comments, obviously, you guys are nerdy, you know, you gotta let me know what's good, and I appreciate it, you know, because, obviously, you know, it, not everybody's perfect, and not everybody will be 100% right about everything, and sometimes people's thoughts are scattered, and they might not, you know, explain something the best way, so the, the comments help me figure my brain out, and I appreciate it, right? But, like, right here, this is kind of, like where my kind of view was like this person pointed out that i kind of contradicted myself which technically i did you know your web browser is for media pdfs delete the separate apps also apps should be only do one thing right this is this is the biggest contention on the video this is what everybody's basically saying and that's fine but this person kind of gets it right here media consumption is one thing right and I kind of agree with that. So, like, I did, a, I did a little breakdown of, like, what I use my computer for. And uh, I got everything, basically, here. I don't, I'm not really missing anything. So, if you see, like, 30% of the time, I'm viewing online content. I'm reading articles. I'm reading, you know, documentation on stuff. I'm watching movies. I'm watching YouTube videos. And then I'm listening to music or doing all that. I don't keep... A ton of data on my machine locally um i kind of back it up on drives and then i just have it for a rainy day you know my internet goes down i plug in a drive i got a bunch of stuff i can watch right so like really my my viewing of local content ends up being like five percent right so by that train of thought it's like i don't what's the point of me having mpv installed on my computer when I can do all of that. I can just open all that stuff with Cube Browser, right? Which, you know, sometimes I just do that because I'm feeling lazy, you know? Because I can, you know, do things and, yeah. So, yeah, so this is like the breakdown of all the stuff I do, you know, writing music, editing photos, artwork, and I kind of have, like, for instance, writing music. I have one program installed to write music. I'm basically only using FL Studio right now. Sometimes... I'll install install Renoise when I'm feeling froggy because I originally learned how to write music on Tracker software, so I'm like, I, I get a hankering for that, right? And then, like, editing photos, I have two two programs I use for editing photos. Uh, GIMP, and then I use A-Sprite, but A-Sprite is geared towards making pi pixel art. So it kind of has its own set of tools and its own certain things that GIMP doesn't have, and it's made very for one very specific task, and that's, like, making pixel art, right? So... That's, those are the two things I have there. And then, like, making videos, I basically just have Caden Live and OBS. And that, that works perfectly fine for me. I don't run Audacity or Tenacity anymore because, I don't know, I just don't need it. Uh, I can get the audio pretty much correct, as good as I'm going to get it with the mic that I have, <laughs> through OBS. So yeah, there's that. And then, and then, obviously, all the other weirdo things I do for the other 5% of the time, which is like... I SSH into my other machines, you know, I run LLMs in Olama, you know, I torrent files and do network stuff, right? So, this is my breakdown. So, this would be a little clarification of where I was coming from. I know people's, you know, their usage is like completely different than mine. Uh, I mainly use 
my computer to fuck off. Like, let's be real. If you look at <laughs> if you look at this pie chart, you know, only thirty percent of the time I'm really doing anything of any value. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Which is like kind of funny. Like when I when I made this, I was like, "Damn, dude, I gotta like either cut down my gaming or cut down viewing online content and make one of these other categories bigger, so I can like, I don't know, do something productive with myself." <laughs> I do suggest making one of these though, because then you can really dial in. Like, okay, what's really important on my machine? Like, like obviously. Um, Steam is very important on my machine and, uh, you know, my web browser. So, yeah. So, yeah, this is just a little clarification, a little just jumping back into it. But, like, what do we do about this web browser situation? And is the web browser really the problem? Is it the Internet or is it web browsers, right? Because if, if it was the Internet and it was, like, old school Internet, like, when I first started using it you pop open a page the only thing that'll ever load is a picture you know you there's no there was no audio there was no you know at the time when i started using there was no videos and stuff on websites so do we go back to a time like that where it's like it it m browsers maintain their sanctity within the unix velocity philosophy or or do we just well, well, well obviously we're not going back there but <laughs> You know, we should probably just learn to live with the fact that browsers are basically going to be doing everything. Um, you can literally have a computer with just a web browser and do 100% of everything that you'd ever want to do. You get some gaming in, there's plenty of games you could play. You go on itch.io, you go all sorts of all over the place. You can edit photos, they got like Canva all that sort of stuff, uh, making videos. I'm sure they probably have some stupid online video editor thingy majiggy, or you can just edit your videos on YouTube through their little editor, right? And then what, writing music? There's a few different sites where you can do like garage band kind of stuff. And I'm pretty sure that there's sites where you could load up old Amiga software for like uh, trackers, like writing chiptune music and stuff like that. Like there's all sorts of ways to write music in a browser nowadays. You know, it's actually kind of crazy to think about, like, what do they really need to do all this stuff? Like, is it responsible for these website owners to be, like, making these things? Or are they just bloating out the Internet? They're just junking up the place, you know? And then it makes it way more confusing to, like, to decide what, what you should actually be doing and, like, what software you should be using and, like, how how much dedication on like to space and usage on your machine are you going to give to like whatever you know food for thought i just figured i'd do a little clarification on this a little bit because i knew it was confusing i watched back on the video and i'm like damn like i was baiting a little bit in there but like it, it ended up like using a web browser as an example was really bad of me i probably shouldn't have done that <laughs> it just made it more confusing but yeah that's my little clarification video. That's all. We're gonna we're gonna like get into playing some games tonight. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna do my thing. Yo, comment, like, subscribe, do all the things. You know, follow me if you want to see more videos. If you don't understand what this video is, look at the video that I posted before this one, and you'll understand it. Anyways, you guys have a good night. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your evening.